Hello, welcome back to Little Codex. Today I am going to show you how to load 120 film into a 620 camera. Um, what I have here is a Kodak Senior 620. It was uh, made from 1937 to 1939. Um, and what it uses is 620 film, which essentially is the same film as 120, except the spool is a different size. So it's a little bit narrower and um, the ends of the spool are a little bit thinner. So uh, what Kodak did was they created their own film, essentially, um, so that you would have to buy their film to use in their cameras. So uh, they actually patented the 620 film so you couldn't use 120 film in your cameras uh, unless you um, altered or re-spooled it onto a 620 spool. Um, 620 film was made from 1931 to the mid 60s and then um, uh, during the mid 60s the 126 um, Instamatic Kodapak came out and people didn't really need to use roll film anymore so it really went to 35 millimeter and the Instamatic 126 film um, and Kodak really essentially stopped making their um, large format cameras uh, for consumers. All right, so um, I'll show you guys this camera. It's pretty cool looking. It pops out of there. It's a Bellows camera. You can see. And this is the um, Kodak Senior 620 camera. All right, so we're closing that back up because today it's not about the camera. It is about how we load the film. So we'll open her up and you can see right here that it says to use Kodak 620 film. What we're going to put in there today is this um, Kodak 100 T Max black and white negative film. So it comes in this little package here. And we're gonna crack her open. And I'll show you, because what I can do is take out, take up spool. And you can tell a little bit there. You can see that the 120 has that extra little lip on it. And then top to bottom, it's a little bit thinner than the 620 spool. So this is a metal um, 620 spool. And this is our 120 film. So before we take the wrapper off to get it in there and roll it, you can see it doesn't even fit in there. It's supposed to just drop in. What we're going to do is we are going to alter our 120 film roll. What we're going to do is use some nail clippers. That's it. That's really simple. And what we'll do is just get right in there and you can see that these large nail clippers kind of fit that curve. So once we get started, we can just go right around here. Get that extra little lip taken right off. We'll just work our way around. And some of the Kodak cameras, like the Tourist, are really tight top to bottom. But for this camera that we're using today, it's not tight top to bottom. For those cameras, you not only have to trim 
the edge here like this, but since this is uh, plastic, you also have to go ahead and file down the ends of the, the spool itself um, with some sandpaper to get it um, so it's a little bit um, narrower top to bottom. So once I finish this, then our 120 film roll is going to be ready to put in our 620 camera. And you can see now that I've released um, the edges, it drops right in. Okay, so um, on the take-up spool, there is a longer side and a smaller side. So the end of the film kind of tapers. So we're going to put it in the larger side and then the little tail will stick out the narrow side. All right, so I'm just going to tear this guy and then this will just come right off. All right, so here's that little taper I was telling you about where it goes down. And then we're going to put it in the wider side. All right. We can drop her in there. And we're just going to get it started on the roll here. In here just so it holds. And then once we close this up, it will hold this roll in place. And then we have a little window here, a little red window. And what we're going to do is we are going to roll our film. starting to see something there we got a little arrow also I have my lights in my studio turned down so it still looks bright because my camera um, uh, adjusts but for the number one to come up in our little red window. Oh, I missed the number one. That must have been the number one. So we made it to the number two, but you get the idea. So I missed one of the shots. And that is how you load your 120 format film in a 620 camera. So, uh, Apart from me uh, scrolling past the first frame, <laughs> you uh, you can see that uh, that it can be done uh, pretty simply and easily. Um, so now I can go out and uh, I guess I will get five pictures out of this roll. Um, uh, essentially, what I could do is take this back into a dark room, um, re-roll that film back up. Um, and then uh, we'll be set and I'll get six frames out of it. Actually, I think I'll go do that right now. Okay, so we are back and we are at the first frame. Close my little window up and we're ready to shoot. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel out. It doesn't cost you anything. And until next time, have a great day.